Nerd alert and an update from Storm Tracker 9 meteorologist Dylan Robichaud on a comet sighting. And what do people need to know? Yeah, so uh, we got new time lapse images uh, given to us by the International Space Station here. And I want to show you this because uh, I think this is the coolest thing in the whole world. Let's take the shot full here. And there it is. You can see a uh, comet Neowise, which will be uh, visible here from Oregon. Let's play the video one more time. You can see it right there if you could pick it out the debris trail too i think that this is really spectacular it's about three miles wide doesn't look all that impressive because it's about 324 million miles away right now so as we get a look at the details right here what can you expect so here's what's going to happen it's going to be the closest to earth july 22nd and july 23rd but you can see it right now and in fact uh uh, it, it, tomorrow morning, if you get up before a sunrise and you look off to the northeast, about 10 degrees above the horizon, you may be able to see it. Now, starting July 12th, you'll be able to see it at night, which I think will be more favorable for us here because at nighttime, we typically have clear skies. And uh, like I just mentioned, the comet is three miles wide. Our current visibility, though, going to be kind of iffy here as we head through uh, the day tomorrow. And the reason why is because in the valley and down in the Umpqua Basin, I think tomorrow we're still going to have some of those marine clouds. Now, if you're going to be traveling up to the Cascades, I definitely wake up early, set that alarm, and get outside and take a look at it if you